to right on the left, but there were quite a lot of collisions because cars think it's all right to jump a, a red and turn left. <coughs> But actually that was just when the cyclists got their green. And you can see people at the lights, when their light went green, they looked over their shoulder to make sure nobody was running the red and turning. So they've changed it. And, and actually, believe it or not, they haven't lost much capacity here. Because to get the capacity through the lights, and the council were adamant that they couldn't vastly reduce the car capacity here, all you actually need to do is to have enough stacking space for two lanes to get enough people through on one green light. You don't need two lanes on the up section because they can sort themselves out. So by doing this arrangement and <coughs> having the centre lane, it actually it doesn't reduce the capacity much, but it makes it much safer for, for those on bicycles. Ironically, the people in the car thought it was going to be unsafe. So this is what you're talking about. This, 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 this here, you can see, we'll see, right. you see what happens here is the They're cycle lane on the up section is on the left, yeah, but as you go past the, the top, the cycle <laughs> lane. You have the, so the sign there, the right-hand pillar, you can follow up there as well. That's in it, and I, if you want to go straight on or left, so if you want to go left, you go in the left side left bollard. And if you want to go straight on, then you go to the right of that bollard, and then cars have to basically push over to the left of you. So cars have to... Yeah, that's right. But the ironic thing is that, that, that car drivers think it's unsafe because they can now see the cyclists. And the, 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 the number of cyclists using the bridge has gone up very significantly. And as far as we are aware, and obviously it's only been in for what? Less than two years probably. There, there, there have been fewer crashes. So and, and there's more cyclists now as well. There's more cyclists. And this is one of the troubles. People will say, oh yes, but there'll be more cycle crashes. But if, if the number of cyclists has gone up by 40%, you'll only increase the number of people coming down now. Yeah. We're going straight on. Yeah, we can see how it works now. Yeah. Of course, this isn't busy. Cyclists are turning left and they just stay in that left lane. And the only people who are allowed to turn right here are buses and bicycles. Because of the... I've looked at the Blackfriars thing and I wasn't convinced it was similar to the Blackfriars one. But basically this has worked very well. And one of the things it's done is it has vastly reduced the number of people who cycle on the footways. Good. Which is one of the big problems we have. People say, oh, cyclists, they're all, they're all uh, stockholders because they're cycling the footways. And it's like, well, we've now made it safe enough. Reasonably wide lanes, you know, not quite excellent, but two metres wide, I think. So this was actually, in terms of, uh, it didn't require any really major reconstruction. It was complicated because the, the roads were at slightly different levels than the dual carriageway. So it out. So, so it has worked very well, and, and certainly, you know, the vast majority of people do find it satisfactory. And, and you know, even people with young children. Um, I have. <coughs>